Hello and welcome to another Planet Zoo video. Today we are going to go uh, and we're gonna start a new zoo. Uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna, this isn't gonna be a new zoo. But it's gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys how to breed some animals with good genes. Um, hopefully we can. I'm gonna try and get some animals that don't have large. Um, uh, in birth periods, uh, they don't take long, so we can get right to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and I don't know, make a basic thing like that, and let's make some. Let's make you know a system. Well, first, uh, you know, let, let's start with the basics. Let's start with the very basics um, of adopting animals, and then so let's just move this this way. Do like that there we go okay now we gotta go here to our staff facilities all the way down to the bottom you know the drill move this into come on really really okay uh put you there i just want to put that pop that down there so now we have a uh, staff thing so let's go ahead and i don't know what's what's got the how long does it take for you guys to have? So it's just basically be in birth periods of 24 months. That's two years. Uh, I don't want that. 24 months again. No. Um, Aldabra, 14 months. Well, I actually want to see the, the the lowest gestation. I believe cheetahs have a low. Three months. Okay, so the African wild dog is actually the least that I've seen so far. I'm also gonna go check out the wolves, uh, just because I know they also have a little one as well. Uh, a timber wolf. Two months. So yeah, it's the 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 dogs. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and build a you know a basic habitat that'll. Well, no. First, let's go ahead and get by the wolves. Um, so. No, I didn't want to click that. Um, let's go ahead and get some timber wolves. Right. So now we want to see right how we should you know pair these guys up, right? Zelane, let's let's just pick a random one. Trio he, yeah, net. Okay, there, it's here. Uh, let's do just check it. Okay, so Yeoman here, right? Uh, go ahead and adopt Yeoman. Uh, so he's got, you know, 83, 50, 50, 50, 50. Now, those aren't amazing genes. They're pretty good, actually. They're not terrible. Uh, but, you know, we could do... You, it's not easy to do better. How should we do better, right? What is he going to breed with that's going to produce good genes? Well, he's got a high size gene, so we don't need this to be very high, right? It's got to be reflective of, you know, just reflect. So, watch. Size gene doesn't have to be very high. Longevity and immunity gene aren't amazing. But you can see that the yeah, longevity, or no, no, the longevity and immunity are amazing. They're 83 and 67. Those are definitely good. You can actually see by yellow, green, and red. Based that just decides the different, uh, things you can choose from. So there's like red is not great, green is great, and yellow is uh, not amazing, but not bad. Middle. So-so. Um, so we can easily see So yeah, you can easily see like, you know, these will pair up nicely. This will be a little bit low. Yes, but they'll actually pair up nicely. So let's go ahead and I'm going to build a little bit of a habitat for them. Uh, and then I'll see you once I'm done. Okay, so we're, uh, I've just finished adding this, making this little thing. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and compare mates between the two of these guys. So let's, so right, we, we chose these guys specifically, uh, so they'd have, they'd match up nicely. So let's go ahead and see... Oh, look at that. See, we did a good job, right? I don't know why their fertility is so high, 
he got lucky, I guess. Uh, but like you see, the, the, his size goes with her that, and it averages out to this. Her high that with his 50% averages out to that. And these two, we got lucky on. Well, no, these when she's got a high immunity, while well, he's got a, high, a lower immunity. And we just got lucky that I got a little bit of extra. Um, so, I'm also, I also just got off the market. Um, and I'm gonna show you why I got them. Uh, if I can. No, I don't. I want to see my... Here we go. So... Where is he? Okay, so down here, I got these three. And why did I get them? His stats, he's got a lower immunity in size, and a higher fertility and longevity. Uh, what about these two? She's got a high size and immunity, but lower these ones. Nikedra, she's got a little bit of a higher than Bianca, and then a high size and immunity, uh, and then this is a little bit lower. So these will pair nicely together, and this will, I think, will be pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, complete this habitat, and then we'll uh, look at the, uh, we'll look at them. Okay, so we're back, uh, and we kind of built, you know, we just made this, uh, a little bit nicer. Uh, but, so now we have these guys, uh, on our way in. Let's, again, go ahead and see. Um, so here have Liam here. Let's go ahead and compare mates. So Zelaine is the other one and the other thing. Uh, they would not pair well together, right? Because Zelaine has... Uh, yeah, so Zelaine has a higher, Zelaine has a lower this, which is so does he, she's got a higher, she got a lower fertility, so this part of them goes together well, but the rest, and these, this does, so the fertility and immunity go well together, but the rest don't really go well together, and I don't know why that's so low, uh, you don't know, uh, so Bianca, right, we said this would be low, but the rest are pretty high. Nikedra, she's the one that was even a little bit better. Why is, okay, hang on, that's red, okay, seriously, she's, she's, she's 25 there. Nikedra, look at this, that's high, 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 high. So doesn't that make it a little bit, you know, it works a lot more, and I believe so, Zelaine is expecting offspring, uh, so, November year one, that's right now. Um, so she's gonna have offspring here soon, which is really good. Um, she's about to have offspring, she's eating. So she's laying down, okay, and she's about to have them. Okay, so she had one little baby. Look at that. Okay, so what did we just do? What do we do? Uday, Ud Udalite here is gold. He's gold. Zelaine. Not even, you know, not bronze. Not even bronze. Uh, where's the other guy? Lee, or what's his name? Uh, Yeoman, I believe his name is. Uh, where the heck is Yeoman? Here he is. Yeoman. Not bronze either. We can pick them, bred them, and what do we get? We got a gold rated animal. So, uh, I don't know if, if you're a first time player, right? Or you're just not doing well in franchise, you don't have many conservation credits, uh, it's just being hard for you to get them. Did you see that? Like, you, well, right, it's, it's kind of hard to get the gold rated animals, right? They're, they're high priced. So, this is like a, you know, a higher price, so, so to get them, it's kind of hard when you're just starting, you don't want to spend all your conservation credits on one gold rated animal. But look what we just did, we just took, you know, or sorry, uh, wrong enclosure, uh, we took, you know, two simple wolves, so two non, not amazing wolves, and we bred them, and now we have gold. 
so that's and then you could sell this guy on the market for I don't know how much he would go for but he'd go for I think right right now a decent amount um, so yeah let's go ahead and you know we'll, we'll put this in play see if these guys do breed but yeah so that was easy to do and I'm gonna you know I'll come back once these guys are about to breed Okay, we're back, and Nikedra here is about to have offspring. Nikedra was the one that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wake her up, and hopefully she has her kid, yes. Here's the kid. Silver. That's not, t yeah, look at that, look at that stat, look at those stats, right? Again, what did we just do? We took, we, so now, we can take two animals we can get for the cash, and we can put them together, and they can create amazing stat animals. So, like, when you see Wikasa here, and you're like, oh, he's so hard to get, don't look at Wikasa, right? Look straight past him. Look to the ones... I like served by a lion. Yeah, okay. So don't look at O Bike or Bruto. Look at the one with the smaller price. Look at Osai. So, yeah, let's say you look at Osai, right? He's got lower these two, but high in the other ones. Or maybe you look at him. Here, yeah, look at, look, let's see, let's take a look at him, right? And maybe you pair him with, uh, I guess there's not many females on the market, uh, which he's a lot. Um, or you can just, you know, go straight up with him, but he's kind of old, so maybe when. Uh, but so don't look at, yeah, he's, there are those ones that are old. But don't look at the extremely expensive ones. Look at the ones that look like this. Because they will produce, give you, get your more conservation credits much faster than buying the big guy here. So that's my advice to you. Uh, and we've definitely proved that it's definitely possible to just do this and just to breed. Uh, but anyways, I thank you guys for watching and I hope you uh, learned a little bit about breeding. I know this isn't like your average tutorial. Like you don't, really, you don't see many breeding tutorials out there. So I wanna kinda do this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you had a fun time, I know, uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching.